Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. I am me. And let's start the timer. Explosive one. Woo. Woo. Boom. Boom. So TNT, did you hear about Matt Stafford? I don't know who that is. Okay. So Stafford he, loan? He is the uh, quarterback of the Rams who won the Super Bowl. Okay. They were at some sort of post-Super Bowl, not that day, like the next day, or media circus after, the a couple days after the the thing. Okay, and he beat up his pregnant girlfriend. No. I but mean, uh, he, he, he went football. to, he was on a stage, and a girl wanted to take a foot, uh, a photograph of him and his wife. Okay. And she was like, here, stand here. She went to back up and fell off the stage. Oh, and cracked her freaking spine, right? Yeah. He, she, yeah. Well, she, but he, did you see the video? He literally, he has a bottle of water. You see him mouth, oh my God, and he turns and walks away the other direction. Like, you know, have you, ever, but so obviously he didn't try to help. I'm sure he's going to come out and say that he was doing something. But what it reminded me of, of, has you, have you ever been somewhere? Like, have you been out at the bar and like somebody, somebody gets in a fight and you're just like, oh, I'm and like, you just turn around, and start walking the other way. That's exactly what the man did. But for him to be a superstar athlete quarterback and not help the woman, people are trashing him for, cause he was just like, you could see his eyes went. Oh my God. And he just turned and like beelined out of there. Yeah, like, what am I going to do? Like nervousness. You yeah, know? that's not his responsibility. Look. And people are ragging on him for, for like getting away from it. But no. I think everyone does that in situations that you want to turn everybody into Travis Scott. Don't you? Wow. That's what you're trying to do out here. Yeah, poor lady, though. She did fall and break her spine. She did mess herself up pretty bad. But, like, what was he going to do? Was he going to jump down there and repair her spine on the spot? No. Like, no. Obviously, it, not moving her was the right thing to do at right. that time. Oh, exactly. So, hey, look, let me just get out of the way, and you guys handle that. Get the paramedics in here. So I guess where I wanted to go with this segue <laughs> is what? I'm where sorry. has there been an event that's happened that you've been there that you have done oh, this? Oh, my God, dude. I couldn't even tell you, to be honest. There's been like a... I don't know. Where you're man. just like, I am not going to stay around to see what happens with this. Yeah, I guess if like a fight breaks out, I've had that happen before. Um, I, yeah, I can't really name anything off the top of my head. I can tell you is like uh, the things that will get me to leave the room is, oh, I, <laughs> well, <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, I remember this is very weird story and okay. probably, you know, a little, a little racy too. All right, so I was maybe like 11, 12, 13 years old. Oh, so you're like, this is like young dynamite. Yes, this is young dynamite. And I remember there was a young lady who lived in the same apartment complex with me, and she was 11 or 12 at the time. So we were close in age. And I remember she used to do like some some more adult-oriented type of entertainment with me, and I always thought that was kind of strange. Obviously, there's probably some there's implication that some things are going on in her in her family household. Right, right, right. I don't know for per se, but regardless, I remember one time her mom came home, and I'm just sitting in her room watching TV or whatever. God knows why her mother was letting this 13 year old boy sit in the same room with their daughter watching TV. Uh, right, right. But regardless, her mom came home. They got into an argument because she didn't do the dishes or take out the trash or clean something or whatever. Right, right. And her and her mom started getting into a physical altercation. Oh, like, like actual fight. Yes. Oh, wow. Like and you're like, <laughs> like, so I'm just sitting there like watching TV and I'm like, all right, so this should be over pretty quick. Cause if I try to fight my mom, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to take the L cause right, like, like, oh, it's mom. Yeah. Cause yeah. taking a W ain't worth it. If you're fighting your mom, taking a W is not worth it. Taking a W is basically you're taking an L down the road. You're taking mad <laughs> Long L's. Long-term L for short-term yes, W. Yes. Yeah. Just take the L. Just be like, look, Ma, you got it. You win. You know, I would never even try in the first well, right, place. Yeah. So after about 20 minutes of this fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> I managed to, like, I'm looking down the hallway. I'm, like, looking down the door. And I'm like, I got to get the hell out out of this house right absolutely so i make a beeline down the hallway through the living room straight to the front door and she and i see her and her mother like the mother's got her in a headlock and she's got like her legs around her mom's leg and they're just like on the floor heavy set woman the young lady was petite 
12, 13 year old. And as I'm making a beeline for the door, she's like, where are you going? I'm like, yo, you know, I got to I gotta get back home. Mom called me. I got <laughs> yeah, you. Dinner, actually, yeah. you know, some things is happening and I, I had to leave. So that that was my story. That yeah. Was it. I one time I had already moved out of Ashtabula. Oh, I got another one, too. But go ahead. I went back to Ashtabula one night yeah. to hang out and we went out to the bar yes. and I was in some bar down the harbor and I literally saw a fight break out. And a man broke a pool stick over another man's back. Ooh. Like, it, it hit him on, like, the top of the Ooh. shoulder, and it snapped the pool stick. Ooh. And we were just in there, like, playing pool with some friends, and I was like, I need to get out of here as quick as possible. <laughs> Once I saw, like, you know, because when the fight starts, everyone's, like, rustling and whatever. Yeah. Then when I saw the pool stick get broken, I was like... This is gonna this escalate quickly, and uh, like were we you all afraid like, that they were gonna start fighting you? I didn't know, dude. I just you don't I don't know what to think when all of a sudden a pool stick gets broken over. Like you're just hanging out, like ha ha, playing pool, flirting with girls, and then it's like snap, and you're like, oh my god, like what the hell is happening in here? And it's Ashley Buell. Who's ever had a gun, dude? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, that's big facts. That's I mean, later, fact. probably a couple years later, someone on that same street walked into a bar and shot someone in the head. So I mean, it it it's not it that a, it couldn't have happened. It was the Wild West in Ashtabula. Oh that's Jesus! For sure. Glad it was after I got out of there. Anyways, I've also had, had another. I, yeah, I also had another one of those happen where uh, I I work with a lot of women. Uh, well, throughout my life, I've worked with a lot of women, and I ended up befriending them. Um, and I remember one young lady that I met. She had a boyfriend, and she was like, "Well, look, I really like you. We can be friends. We can we can hang out sometimes." But obviously, we have to do it with my boyfriend available. Or my boyfriend's there. Okay, cool. So I met him. Um, he played video games a lot. I happen to play video games a lot. I think you told me the story. So me and him played video games a lot together. Um, one day we were playing video games. Uh, we were playing Halo ODST. Oh God! On the hardest difficulty setting, and we were doing it split screen, and we beat that game. That's awesome. In like nine hours, yeah, real awesome. Nine <laughs> hours the <laughs> entire beat, day. We beat it like nine hours. <laughs> the problem was is that while his girlfriend was at work, he didn't do any of the chores that she had asked him to do. He oh, his honey do left went unattended. <laughs> honey do list. He yeah. didn't. He didn't mop. He didn't sweep. He didn't clean anything. We just played. ODST for nine the entire hours, shift a whole day so she gets home and she's like you didn't do anything or it's like 30 minutes before and he's doing like the quick cleanup like oh maybe I can get some stuff done right now right look like I picked up a little bit yeah. she walks in she's like you didn't do anything what the hell so I believe he broke a glass table and like I was in the bathroom when this happened and I come out, see the glass table is broken and I hear her yelling and I hear like crying and I'm like, oh, it's time for me to leave because I don't want to be questioned by the police. That is another time. Yeah. It's always domestic violence with me. Well, I mean, I'm I always like the voyeur for, I'm not voyeur, but. If, if Ish hits the fan. And you're not involved with that ish. Yeah. Get the hell out of there, man. Ain't yeah. nothing good going to happen to you if you try to like stop the fight or like whatever. Yeah. And it's like, yo, in a lot of, in a lot of my cases, at least it's like, yo, should I have called the police? Should I have asked the young lady in both cases? Like, is your home life? Okay. Well, in one case I was 11 in the second case, yo, for real, that's none of my business, yo. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and try to white knight anybody's well, girl. That's another thing. If you would have came out and he was on top of her on the living room floor, punching her in the face. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, like, like yes. Like her life is in danger at that yes. point. Then like, I could have escaped and nobody would have even asked me. <laughs> Whatever. You know, because he would have been too busy <laughs> yeah, he beating her to a bloody pulp. He would pulp. have even not even known that you left. That is a joke. It was a joke. It yeah. was a bad one, but it was a good one. There is that. actually a time I saw a lady get hit by a car and I was, I was at work. And mm. I had to walk out. I the, I had to walk across the street to the bank. Mm. And when I walked the the street in front of it was it was a T street. Like one street came into my cross street. I was walking on one sidewalk. The this lady was walking on the other side of the T. The car turned left, and all of a sudden I heard a thunk and looked and saw her like fly in the air and land. Damn. And like so, what, could, I could run up to her and see if she's okay. No, I went into the bank. And said, hey, some lady just got hit by a car, called the cops, and then handled my business and went back to work. It didn't, it wouldn't have done, behooved me at all to go up to her and ask her if she's okay and whatever. I minded my effing business, went into the bank, minded my business, and completed my transaction, and said, hey, some lady just got hit by a car, call 911. 
and then did my stuff and went Wait, back to work. Did, did you? Did I didn't you, see her get hit, but I heard it and then did, saw her like fly did, through the air. Did you complete your transaction before you called nine one one or like, after? Thank you for thanks for my business. By the way, some ladies out. No, as soon as I walked in, I told the first person I saw to call nine one one. Uh, but yeah, that was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, all right, fair enough. Yeah. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. If you see something, say something. Exactly. TNT. We out.